On Bay Lifestyle, we're catching up with the awesome team, the wonderful team from Max. Now, last week we caught up with Joy Lego, who is the CEO, and now we're catching up with the president of the board, Gail Perry. Hello. Hello, Rex- Roxy. Thank you for having me. Now, Max has got a board because it's a not-for-profit organisation, isn't it? Yes, and we have a skills-based board um, with people who are passionate about the care of residents at Max and uh, our premise is that if it's not good enough for our mum and dad it's not good enough for our residents and we live by that rule. I absolutely love that. Now I actually know a couple of people on your board and I know that they're very passionate about Max. Um, I don't know if Joy's told you but I have penciled my name in down down the track to be a resident. We'd be delighted to have you. Oh I'd love to. Well either to be either to be looked after in the community or you know which is actually what um, No Place Like Home which is the current um, big promotion that Max is involved with and I note that you didn't bring me in a pair of red slippers. I've seen them on the buses. They would have matched my coat I'm wearing. I know and you know Roxy I haven't got a pair either. Jeez the president hasn't even got a pair. All right fair enough well I'll I'll be okay without a pair. So no place like home really that's about having people in their own homes being cared for. That's exactly right and what we like to do is match up uh, carers with the clients and also if we can match the languages that's also very important because then that cuts out a lot of the isolation. I speak a little bit of pirate every now and again particularly if I stub a toe or something so (laughs) (laughs) I'll just bear that in mind for the future. Um, So Gail how long have you been involved with Max? Uh, I've been there 15 years. And what what inspired you to get involved with the organisation? My career was in aged care and I love older people. Yeah. Uh, I don't have a lot of tolerance with younger people, but for some unknown reason, I seem to have extra <laughs> patience with older people. And I just, I was invited to uh, come on the board and I joined it and I've just loved it ever since. And it's uh, one of my favourite organisations. Well, you have seen a lot of change mm-hmm. in the last 15 years at Max. And I think there was definitely very much a, a a period of time where it was a multicultural aged care facility but and whilst it certainly does accommodate people from all different ethnic backgrounds it really is now about anybody being looked after whether they're at home or or they are in care or right through to end of life care. Exactly and uh, it doesn't matter what nationality you are and it doesn't matter um, being English or Australian or Anglo-Saxon um, that's fine. You're just as welcome. Yeah. One of the, the other things that I found really, I suppose, interesting about Max is that the staff, there's not a lot of staff turnover because the staff just love being there. With our um, benchmarking, we are one of the top with the least number of staff turnovers because they are welcome, they feel part of the family and we always refer to Max as the Max family. It doesn't matter whether you're a board member or what your place in the organisation is, you are part of the Max family. Okay, and uh, that's uh, you walk in there, there's always a smile and um, even if people are having a really bad day, you would never know. Yeah, isn't that absolutely wonderful? What's really awesome is that we're going to be getting to meet a number of um, Max residents and families and carers and people along the way who we can, I suppose, get a much broader picture of what Max is as an organisation. But you must be so proud to be a part of it, Gail. Oh, we burst with pride. It's um, a wonderful place and who... Whenever anybody comes to visit, when they walk in through our piazza, they're just gobsmacked because it's such a, an unusual entrance to a, a care f- facility. Yes, yeah. And uh, anybody can come in for a coffee at the cafe. Um, we have a boutique and the residents can go and shop and have a coffee. And it's just wonderful and it's just so different. Oh, I absolutely love it. Look, thank you so much for joining us, Gail. If anyone wants to know more about Max, they're in North Geelong. Jump on the website. It's max.org.au. Google it. Go and see it. Look out for the gorgeous red slippers on the sides of buses and everywhere. There is no place like home. And if you want to be at home, then Max will look after you. Thanks, Gail. And uh, good luck with the rest of this wonderful campaign. Thank you, Roxy. And I'll see if I can get you a pair of slippers. Oh, thanks. That'd be a size nine. Thanks very much.
<laughs> See you, Gail.